Hello everyone and welcome to this live demo. In this demo, we're going to show you the capabilities of Microsoft Copilot in Excel. So um, if you go ahead and click on this link here to explore prompts, similar to what we have done throughout the entire course, you will be directed to a Word document, live Word document, that includes all the prompts and pretty much every analysis we're going to be conducting throughout the entire course. Right now we are in module 17 and we are under Copilot with Excel. And first we're going to go ahead and perform EDA or exploratory data analysis using Copilot and Excel. And the data that we're going to be using is titled humanresources.xlsx, which is similar file that we used earlier in the course when we leveraged ChatGPT, if you remember, with the data wrangling and analysis. So let's go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and then I'm going to navigate to the course materials. So here we go. This is the course material here. We're in module 17, live demo data. You should be able to see human resources file. Again, I strongly recommend that you learn by doing and you go ahead, you open Excel. You make sure that Copilot as well is activated for you. So here you should be able to see the icon here appearing. And of course, you need to make sure that you have already the subscription as well through your, through your company to Microsoft 365. And you make sure that you log in here with the proper account too. And of course, here I purchased the license. And that's why now I have access to Copilot activated. Similar to what we have done before in PowerPoint and similar to what we have done before as well using uh, Outlook, Teams, all of that. All you need to do is to click on Copilot and the magic we're just going to go ahead and start so here what's going to happen is that you can go ahead and actually let's oh so please note that um in order for you to run that magic i would say copilot you need to make sure that the auto save feature is enabled and you have your file saved to one drive so what you see here is going to tell you you need to make sure that auto save is turned on so now it's off turn it on and I'm going to say, OK, please go ahead, do that. And now it's going to upload that document and you should be able to see that autosave is activated now. And once you do that, you should be able to have access to Copilot running on your data in Excel. OK, so let's go ahead and get started. Well, what you could do is that you can say, for example, can you generate maybe general insights? Let's see what Copilot's going to come up with. The idea here is I have human resources data. And if you remember, we covered this data before. Here I have the age, for example, of employees. I got their monthly income. I got the attrition, whether they stayed at the company or left the company. I also have how often they travel, whether they travel rarely, they travel frequently. I also have their daily rate, their department, which is, let's say, research and development department, their sales, and so on. You can also see that here we have the distance away from home. How far do they live from work? And if you recall, we use this data to train machine learning classification models. So we use all these columns to try to predict this column. So think of it as you are a human resources department and you want to know which of these employees are going to stay and which ones are going to leave. So by taking a look at the attrition column, okay, you are going to, so basically this is what happened in real life, right? So yes or no, that means people stayed or left. It's a binary output. So what you could do is that you can train a machine learning model that is going to look, take a look at the age, the income, the R&D, for example, their department, their education level, their age, and so on. And it's going to predict for us this column. So that could be really useful for human resources because once we do that, then we are able to gain insights into what, the, uh, what are the major causes of employees leaving a company. And of course, hiring and retaining employees is a very expensive process. So we'd love maybe to, if we identify people that are good, that they, are, they might leave based on their features, maybe I can promote them, give them incentive, maybe give them bonus and so on. So here we go. All we're doing right now is, as I said, please go ahead, generate general insights. And here we go. So here, Copilot was able to tell me that I analyzed the data. So it looked at these um, uh, columns here. So from A1 up until A1, 
um, AI1471. And here is what I found, the monthly income by business. So these kind of are a bar chart that can show me how many employees in the company travel rarely, travel frequently, and on travel. And please note that you might actually get maybe different results as well every time you run it. Again, all of these are probabilistic models. So every time you run it, it might generate. So here, for example, it generated or picked up that monthly column, monthly uh, income by business, for example, here, data. And you can go ahead and you might get maybe different figure as well, similar to what we have done before with pandas. And he's going to tell you some general insights. The sum of monthly income by business travel is, let's say, 6,800. Uh, 6, and tra for travel rarely is 1.7 for travel frequently. And see the above chart, for example, for analysis. I'm not sure why it specifically picked up on these columns. Maybe it did not kind of take a look, let's say, at the distribution of the age, for example, or something like that. So maybe that's something that we need to be more specific about. Let's go ahead and show you. So now I can go ahead and say, um, calculate the average value of the age column. So this is the age column. And let's see if it's able to create or write that formula and calculate the average value for us. So it's going to take some time. And here we go. So now it's going to tell you the average age here is 36.9. And if you're familiar with this data, that's actually a correct answer. And it was able to show you as well the formula. So it calculated the average of A2 up until A471, which is simply this column. So it understood basically what we meant, which is great. What if I wanted to, let's say, calculate the median value for the daily rate? So now I can say calculate the median daily rate. So this is the daily rate here for employees. And I would like to calculate the median value. Let's see if that works. So now it's generating the formula suggestions for that. And... Here we go. So now we got the value here, which is 802. Okay, looks pretty good as well. And let's assume that I would like to know how many employees left and how many employees stayed in the company. If you recall, this column here is the attrition column, just zeros and ones. So I would like to count how many zeros, how many ones are there, how many employees stayed, how many employees left. And that's simply the next prompt here. So I'm going to say show count plot for employees who left and employees who stayed. Please note that uh, what I found is that um, Copilot in Excel, it's actually doing well. It's, it's pretty good, but it still requires still far away from the capabilities of the GPT 4.0 model, as an example. Even though Copilot actually uses um, open AI models behind the scenes, for some reason, it's just sometimes doesn't understand basically what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you tons of examples coming up next. So here, for example, I said show count plot. OK, so count plot. If you remember, we have done it before. It's an actual figure that just show show you how many samples that for people or the uh, people who stayed and people who left that was able to understand what I meant. So it was able to count the number of rows, but it did not generate any figure. Right. Even though when I talk to it, I say, OK, please generate a figure generate a figure it, it sometimes it doesn't fully uh, follow basically what I'm what I'm saying okay now I can go ahead and say for example can you tell me which employee in this data set has the longest years with the company so here we have a number of years for example that employees stayed at a given company so now I want to see if AI is able to do that and here we go it's going to tell you I analyze the data here's what I found this is the employee number so an employee number 165 this is the, I would say, most loyal employee in the company who stayed for 40 years, basically. OK, and this data is correct as well. And what you could do here is you can ask it, for example, what factors affect employee attrition? So now I want to know which features out of these was able to predict the attrition of employees. Are they going to stay or leave, basically? So what you see here is uh, I've tested it out before, and it was actually kind of to ask, you, ask me to generate a Python code. And let's see what's going to happen. So I was going to tell you it actually was able to plot right now the attrition. OK, and the factors affecting employee attrition include the total working years. OK, that's actually a slight improvement with employees who stayed having a total of 1400 um, years. OK. And those who left staying have 1954. See the chart above for more details. I was expecting something like, for example, feature importance graph, right? That can show you 
which features are the most important ones. So I'm assuming that it might should have built and maybe a machine learning classification model behind the scenes like a random forest for example or something like that and was able to tell me which feature is the most important right but actually didn't do that here but i'm assuming this is going to be a work in progress and that should improve in the future and that's it that's all i have for this lecture i hope you enjoyed it in the next lecture we're going to learn how to do data sorting with copilot please stay tuned best of luck and i'll see you in the next one